Welcome back to a brand new video and today Nintendo has actually released specific patch notes for every single character they have buffed and nerfed for Super Smash Bros Ultimate 2.0.0 and we're gonna go through all of them I'm not gonna show footage of every single change but I'm just gonna go through ones that I feel like are really big <clears throat> so let's go through this so with Mario they adjusted his launch angle for his dash attack so that means the angle will be different of course they changed his final smash meter um, they extended the launch distance of it and for Donkey Kong's forward air attack they shortened the landing time after using the move that means Donkey Kong's forward air has less landing lag which means he can act faster after using the move and I think that actually is a huge huge change for the character because that just makes the character busted so if you hear smash in the background that's i'll just be pulling up gameplay um so i can show you guys but doesn't he has less landing lag after using his forward air so so he's able to get up a lot faster than he previously was so that that's a buff right there for donkey kong next we have link his up air attack they shorten the landing lag of his up air attack we don't know by how much specifically though that's the problem with these patch notes they don't give us specific numbers but this this is a good step and for neutral special they extended the time from when the arrow is loose and for neutral special they extended the time from when the arrow is loosed to when it disappears for samus they extended the range of the missile and reduced the vulnerability when using the move in the air just interesting change that was a buff slash nerf they gave her more range on a missile, but she has less invincibility frames, which is interesting. On her down special, they reduce vulnerability, and same thing with Dark Samus. With Yoshi, his forward air attack, they shorten the amount of time you cannot grab edges after using the move. <laughs> so that's a buff right there. Um, Kirby, for his dash attack, they increase his power range and attack power while maintaining launch distance. So that's also a buff. And for Kirby, his side tilt, they slightly reduced the vulnerability and extended undamaged launch distance, which is really cool. Um, not cool, actually. <laughs> That's actually a nerf. I don't know why I said really cool. I'm going to say not cool. Um, for Kirby's down special, they adjusted the super armor frames after using the move. We don't know what this means, if this is a nerf or a buff. Um, but I'm happy Nintendo um, actually decided to give us something. And but for Pikachu, they they shorten the hit stun time for his grab. So that means he has less hit stun or they shorten the time that hit stun is active for his grab. Um, it doesn't say. OK, so it's grab attack. So it's pummel pretty much. And Luigi, his up smash has extended launch distance, meaning his up smash will send your opponent further and his down air will ground the wait. Opponents on the ground will no longer suffer a meteor effect. Why the? Oh, this gets rid of the Luigi death combo. Wow, Nintendo's really actually listening. That Luigi zero to death combo is gone now. And his side special has reduced vulnerability. And his down special extended launch distance. So they, they buffed down special a little bit. Nessa's up air has shortened the landing time after using the move. So more, uh, less landing lag. Um, that was an oxymoron. Uh, down air attack, increase the attack power, and maintain launch distance. So Ness got, he got buffs overall. And Jigglypuff, guys. They buffed her almost all the way around. They gave her a faster back air. And they gave her adjusted launch angle. We don't know if that's in there for a buff or a forward throw. And they extended her launch distance for her final smash meter. <laughs> but more importantly, they fixed her back air. Or, yeah, back air. Peach, they shortened her launch distance of repeated attacks for her up special. So that's that's barely a nerf. People were expecting their characters to get nerfed like really badly. And Bowser pretty much got nerfs all around. And I'm just going to go through these. Some of them are kind of not that crazy. Um, they made it easier for Ice Climbers to grab ledge, which is interesting. Uh, Sheik increased the attack range on her up smash. And for her down smash, they made it easier to hit multiple times. So, okay, she got some buffs. And forward air attack, short, shorten amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using the move. So, okay, she didn't really, okay, and they reduced her vulnerability for side special. No one really uses side special that much for Sheik. Um, and for Pichu, same thing as Pikachu. They, they changed his hit stun for his pummel for some reason. 
and Ganondorf, they shorten the landing lag for his forward air. That's that's actually busted. Like <laughs> Ganondorf's forward air is crazy. Like Ganondorf is so crazy in this game. So he got buffed even more. And they shorten the amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using the move for up air. So Ganondorf got buffed. So most of these characters have received buffs. Um, Mewtwo, that's a buff. Um, side, wait, tilt attack will now always launch forward. That means he could probably follow up with a with a forward air. I guess so. I don't know if they mean or what angle forward. Um, they made it easier for him to grab ledges with up special. And with Roy, they did the same thing with Chrom. They shortened the landing lag time for down air attack. So that's that's cool. And here is the thing for Chrom. They shorten the meteor distance. When falling off the stage with an opponent, Chrom will be KO'd first. So when you do your upbeat and bring your opponent down, it looks like Chrom's gonna die first. They took the one thing away that made his upbeat really good. <laughs> I'm kind of upset about that. But uh, Mr. Game and Watch, they increase his attack range for forward air and uh, short landing lag for down air. And there's a lot of characters to go through. So we're gonna go back up. This is gonna be a long video, boys. I hope you grabbed your popcorn. <laughs> and that's Pit's final smash. You can read that if you want to. For Zero Suit, they uh, for Zero Suit, her side smash attack, they shorten the launch distance when the attack hits the middle of an opponent's body. So that's, I guess that could lead to better follow-ups. And for Zero Suit's uh, up air attack, they shorten the amount of time you can not grab ledges after using the move. Okay, so that that's cool. And basically, same thing with Wario before his down air. And Snake up till extended the high damage window. They buff Snake. They buff Snake. I that's crazy. I was expecting Nikita to get nerfed or something, but they went ahead and buff Snake. That's insane to me. They shorten the meteor distance for Ike, so that means the spike. Um Charizard dash attack increased the attack power and extended launch distance for Charizard. So that's a buff for your homie Charizard right there. Diddy Kong shortened the landing lag after using the move for his neutral air. Eh. Lucas up till okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here's the thing. Did they change Lucas's neutral? No, they did not change Lucas Lucas's uh neutral air or neutral special. I mean, that's crazy. So here's the crazy thing about Sonic. They made it where his tilt attack, his forward tilt will hit two times like it hits two times like i'll show you guys actually all right guys so this is sonic's tilt attack forward tilt attack actually it hits twice now like more reliably i guess you could say like you don't there's not an extra input you just hit it once and he hits twice so that's a really interesting change and i actually like that a lot and i feel like sonic they they kind of they kind of changed them a little too much. I feel like from Smash Four, like they got rid of a lot of the cancels and stuff, which is interesting. But hey, that's something cool that Sonic has back. His forward air attack has shortened hit stun time, so I guess that means uh, there's less time that hit stun is active. Um, that could be that that's that's depending on how Sonic is in the air. Uh, that that could mean he could drop the forward air more often. So I would say that's a nerf. And they reduce his vulnerability when landing with back air. So that's interesting. And King DDD, they reduce the attack range of Gordo. F in the chat for all those King DDD mains. And your boy Lucario, that his forward air attack, they shorten the amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using the move. So another one of those. We're getting a lot of those. And I think um, they're doing that with a lot of these characters. And they're shortening the hit stun time that is active for a lot of these moves. Which I'm, I don't know how I feel about that. And with Toon Link, they shorten the landing time after using the move for his forward air and back air when it comes to grabbing ledges again. And for Mega Man, special moves will not be activated when jumping and using Mega Buster for his side tilt. So they just took that away. That's kind of interesting. And now Rosalina and Luma have a lot of changes, as you can see right here. We're going to go through all these. So they extended the launch distance for Luma's up B, or not, I'm sorry, up B, her up tilt attack. They extended the distance that Luna moves forward with her down tilt and shortened the amount of time when it comes to grabbing ledges and they increased the amount of time hit detection lasts for her neutral air attack. And for forward air, they shortened the amount of time that you cannot grab ledges after using the move. 
and her down air to shorten the amount of time between the start of the move and meteor effect for her down air. So that means that move's gonna hit a lot faster now. And for her neutral special, they reduce the vulnerability when sending out and calling Luma. So that that that's the nerf right there. So all of these changes are just crazy. Guys, I'm gonna skip down real quick. So they actually did it, guys. They nerfed Inkling. They shortened the amount of time undamaged opponents are buried. <laughs> Move the attack range back while on the ground. So Ankling's roller got nerfed and it happened. It actually freaking happened. And hey, but on the bright side, they fixed her side or her neutral attack, but they shortened the amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using the move. So that's a thing. And with King K rule, they just reduced the range of his up special. Uh, neutral special, they shortened the length of the vacuum effect. So that's a nerf. And King K. Rool got nerfed as well. Uh, as well, They shortened the amount of time undamaged opponents are buried. And Isabelle, they shortened landing lag for her. And they extended her launch distance for her up smash. And Incineroar, they actually buffed our man's Incineroar. They shortened the amount of time that you cannot grab ledges after using his up air. And they shortened the amount of time. And they shortened the landing time after using his down air. And they extended launch distance of his up throw and they extended the vertical and horizontal distance of his up special. So that means his up B actually goes higher and I'll show that off real quick. So let's test out Incineroar's up B. So apparently it goes higher now. Whoa, that actually kind of does go a little bit higher. They extended the distance. So Incineroar, it doesn't seem like it's that different. Let's try it from a little lower. Whoa. He can actually like recover a little bit more than he was able to. So I like that. So let's say he does this. Oh my God, he can actually make it from like back here now. Wow. They buffed Incineroar. Maybe Sakurai thought it was a little too harsh to make him the way he was. He could have almost made that. That's crazy. So, okay, Incineroar was buffed. I appreciate that. Now let's look at Ridley. I, I'll, I'll go back to the other characters after I look at the newer ones. It says shorten the amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using neutral air. Shorten the amount of time you cannot grab ledges after using this move for forward air. And same thing with down air. So Ridley didn't get changed that much. And for Cloud, his forward air, the short amount of time you cannot grab ledges. So it seems like most characters got these. I'm not going to read over these any further. I'm pretty sure you guys are getting annoyed hearing me say that phrase. But for his down special, they increase the range of finishing touch at the beginning of the move. So thank God, his finishing touch sucks. And for Ken, they shorten the landing lag time after using his neutral air and for his forward air. And he can no longer jump immediately after using down tilt. So that's a nerf right there. So, so far, it seems like most of these characters are getting buffed. For Pac-Man, for his down air attack, they shorten the landing lag time after using his move. So Pac-Man got buffed. And for neutral special, they extended the time until you disappear after landing the attack for neutral special. So, that's interesting. Um, for Palutena, they shortened hit some time for neutral air attack. So that means the move won't be active for as long as it used to be. So I've heard people complaining about neutral air, but it doesn't seem like it's going to be that annoying anymore. And they made it easier for Palutena to grab ledges with her up special, which is really good. I really appreciate that. And the Me Brawler... You guys can pause the video and read all this if you want to. I'll have it up on screen. I don't, I, yeah, you guys got that. And Little Mac, they shorten the landing time and the amount of time you cannot grab edges after using the move. Same thing with, okay, so they, they made it easier for Little Mac to grab the ledge after using neutral air and up air. I don't think anyone would do that off of the ledge. And Greninja, they increase the range of the inner attacks for down smash. And he can no longer move immediately when landing on a moving platform or slanted ground with up special. That's a, that's a nerf. So, I, yeah, I read Toon Link. So we did pretty much everybody. And I feel like these nerfs weren't all that bad. The one I'm upset about is Krom. They removed his ability to... Actually, he can still take people down. He just dies first, so it won't be a last stock option but overall i feel like these weren't that bad these these buffs were a lot more impactful i feel like than they were for nerfs 
overall i'm kind of happy with their changes they're not that bad but if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to comment like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one